What's up, Cancer? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back for your last week of November, Terrascope Reading. Crowning your reading, you have the strength card, Standing Strong. I definitely feel like you're at a, a place of calm and resilience and strength in the situation. I feel like you have maintained poised energy. You get what I'm saying? If you can understand, normally the strength card is um, not even a female lion like this, but a male lion with a maiden trying to close his mouth. In this case, she's not having to try to do anything. She's literally, oh, this is not even a female lion. It is a male lion. But she's literally just hugging this one who is allowing his mane to blow in the wind. So I definitely feel like there is a sense of regeneration, a, a calm in the storm. But the first card that actually came out was the Two of Cups. And I was excited, like, okay, Cancer, who you got coming in, boo? Mm -hmm. Let me find out. But then I got the Five of Wands in reverse and a five of swords so something definitely changed in this situation here because fives are very indicative to change uh for me and um it seemed like something that started off very soulmate energy you pour into my cup i pour into yours you scratch my back i scratch yours turned into something very selfish very self-serving and it looks like one person decided to to not put as much energy into the situation left two two swords in their partner's back and walked away with the three of swords so this situation definitely could have ended due to a third party situation whatever the case was there was a sense of somebody being led on by insincerity or insincere love offer or somebody that just offered a love to multiple people at a time you know but here's that stuck stagnant stalemate energy where you know things just aren't growing and you notice that and it's because this person had two di different paths to choose from and it looks like they're holding one behind them and one in front of them and they're looking in the direction of the one that's in, in the future for them and they're leaving something in the past here a wand something that they once that once had a lit flame and it's looking like they leaving that a uh, world with that person behind them. I never even realized it was uh, an actual world wrapped up in this dragon's tail here. But I see that right along with this wand, that world that they had with that wand or with that particular person that represents that wand is being left behind them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. There is a sense of a breakup, a decision being made between two people. And the person that wasn't a harmonious fit is now being kicked out the door. And wow, Knight of Cups, King of Cups in reverse, both very, to me, emotionally immature and emotionally manipulative energies. But now we see why this person was being um, insincere was because they had more than one option on the table and they wasn't exactly sure what they were going to do and where they were going to go with it. So let's definitely deep, dig deeper into this cancer. Sun, moon, and rising for the last week of November when it comes down to the astrological sign of cancer. Clear, concise messages for cancer. Sun, moon, and rising when it comes to the last week of November. Spirit. You guys could have been dealing with a Leo. Six of Swords. You guys walked away after a period of just seeing that they was, you know, either they were being indecisive and you can energetically feel that, that they had something else. You can energetically feel that they were an insincere partner it's with this Queen of uh, Pentacles in reverse here. That's an insincere partner. Six of Swords, you're walking away from this person and finding your balance elsewhere deciding to no longer be in a confused energy of will I stay or will I go cancer 
You could be walking away. Ooh, King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles is here. So it's looking like one of you guys were reliable and like in it to win it in this situation. And the other, not so much. Looks like the other one was a non-committal energy. Yeah. Huh. Somebody was seeing people outside of the relationship and involving themselves in a sexual way. Yeah, here's that Knight of Cups energy that's crowning the reading again. Underneath that, somebody's being left out in the cold because of that, and a new path is being chosen. So I'm trying to figure out if Cancer, if this is the person, if they left you for somebody and this, they chose somebody else over you and somebody else chose to be unfaithful to them. So it could very well be that this person is receiving their karma for doing you wrong. They left you for somebody else and now somebody else is being just as insincere as them and they're having to leave this person out in the cold now, okay? And choose a new path. And you better hope the thing coming back to you because that's really them, you know, letting you know that you a choice and not your option and not a priority. Why is the six of swords here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the last week of November? Why is the six of swords here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the last weeks? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yes, you're freeing yourself from a situation. Uh, from the privileged lady. Yeah. This can also speak to somebody that's a gold digger too. The queen of pentacles in reverse. Here. You wasn't happy in this situation. And this very well could have been a person that uh, lured them away from you. Yes. Mm-hmm. And they could have even having a, had a child behind your back. With the gift and the child here. Why is the queen of pentacles here in reverse? And that could have been why they basically chose them over you. Is maybe they had a secret child. Yes, this one is the thief. But now she's being she is being recognized for the person that she is by the person that left you, Cancer. Isn't that something? Why is the temperance here for Cancers? Sun, Moon, and Rising. Sudden wealth in reverse. Wow. So this person drained your person of their finances. Had a child by them. They really, really showed them what hell can be like. You know, they showed up and they gave this person their karma. And honestly, that was that was this person's lesson. Or this was this person's purpose in your person's life. They had to wrap up this karma. This person would have continued to treat people like this if this person... Wow, look at this. They definitely took them to court for child support as well. Like I said. Yes. Hmm. You are the father. Took they ass to court, and guess what? It didn't go in their favor. Child support up the wazoo. But still, he coming up as the king of pentacles, so. Okay, so why is the king of pentacles here? And she could have did this on purpose. I'm getting that. I'm really getting that strong here. Why is the king of pentacles here? And I mean, why is the king of pentacles here? Yeah, he trying to lock some shit down again. Dang, where did the cage go? He trying to lock this down again, okay? Mm-hmm. He want that old thing back. He want the stability back with you again. Now he sees that this person portrayed themselves as the more stable one. You know, maybe by offering them a child or maybe by coming up pregnant, which they, oh, I feel intuitively they did, you know, on purpose. Um... They they felt like they could have a happier home with them because it was a complete family, but now they're seeing that they family was with you. This person was a part of their social circle. Ooh, hell no. Nah. This person was having sex with their friends. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Meanwhile, you were you done got on your right path. And you coming up as Queen of Cups energy. And now they realize you were the right one. Ain't that something? Huh. They don't want you. They try. They trying to come back before you let somebody new come in your life. Any more messages, spirit, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising? 
I clarified everything. I just want to see if anything else come out. Any more messages, Spirit? Yeah. Wow. Now, they don't want to juggle anymore. They want to come back and really offer you something real. Any more messages for Cancer? Sun, Moon, and Rising. Yeah, they don't know. They no longer want to feel this guilt and this grief of no longer being in your life. All right, Cancer, I'm gonna pull your oracles from Earth Magic Oracle. Get some oracle advice for cancer, sun, moon, and rising. Wow, release this person, don't let them back. Yeah, they're coming back to you this season. It's time for you to go within. You know, I feel like you got some studying to do, some new projects to start. Watch out for the snakes in the corner. New moon promise. You know, you will have new love coming in, continue to manifest. So, what's funny to me is. You normally add, call in what you want with the new moon and you release what you don't want with the uh, full moon. So, you know, just start manifesting. But after a period of just spending some time to yourself, you're blossoming, uh, Cancer. And you need this time to blossom without any interruptions, okay? An unfoldment, yeah, definitely. So, yeah, I definitely get that this person is dealing with their karma now after what they did to you. So, you no longer have to worry about, you know, man, this was so unfair or what did I do to deserve this or whatever. It was something that this person had to learn in this lifetime. And, you know, sometimes it don't have anything to do with you at all in order for people to be able to correct the things that they continue to habitually do uh, that continue to hold them back and stagnate them. Unfortunately, you know, the person that they're with that's completely innocent have to be a subject of them, uh, their evolve, you know, their, them evolving, okay? So, in that case, that's, this is a situation where you just so happen to be um, in a relationship with them when they had to, you know, receive their karma, pay out their karma, so that they can finally make the change necessary to evolve, so... You know, if you can look at it as anything else, look at it as that. And if you guys like this video, give me a big fat thumbs up. Comment down below. Um, <laughs> join the Soul Tribe. Subscribe. Hit the bell. And I'll see you guys later. Ciao.